Evening everyone, happy Friday. We are doing a four box break of 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey number nine. I know a lot of you may have purchased it as number five, but we already did break five. I think someone actually forgot to change the number here. So this is actually break nine, but your, your SKU numbers and your receipts will probably say five. Um, big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double this list up. Sir Mix-a-Lot style. Oh, double up, ooh, ooh. And we combo a team, Wild and Lightning are comboed. And let's randomize each list six times. Three and three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, JKJ on top, Marty on the bottom. Three and a three, six times for the teams. One, two, Three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we got the Golden Knights on top and the Ottawa Centers on the bottom. All right. So. Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with the Las Vegas Golden Knights, Chris with the Flames, Josh with the Coyotes, Cruz with the Penguins, Joe with the Bruins, Rich, you got the Red Wings, Ryan with the Hurricanes, Joe with the Kings, Derek with the Leafs, uh, Maple Leafs, Rex, you got the Canucks with the Last Spot Mojo, nice, Cruz with the Ducks, Charles with the Canadiens, Cruz with the Sharks, Josh with the Jets, Shan uh, Shannon Rex with the Rangers, Rich Schmidt with the Devils, Ryan with the Panthers, Paul Coolwit with the Wild and Lightning, Wild Lightning for you. Derek, with that sounds like a band name, right? Maybe Wild Lightning. Some metal band or something like that. Derek with the Stars. Uh, Joe with the Caps. Cruz with the Sabres. Rex with the Predators. Charles with the Flyers. Oilers for Cruz. Blues for Marty. Cruz with the Avs. Paul with the Blackhawks. Chris for Rodriguez. Islanders. Rex. The other last spot mojo. Blue Jackets and Marty with the Ottawa Senators. Let's sort by team. And feel free to trade if you'd like. We were talking concerts before, and it looks like Boombox is going to go see Pixies and, uh, and and Weezer in August. Rex is also seeing, or no, Rex is seeing Smashing Pumpkins in August, and Paul also seeing the Pixies Weezer tour in uh, Nola next month. Nice, huh? Should I go to the? Should I go see Pixies Weezer? Oh, Boombox is saying they're at. At the Forum, the Great Western Forum, where the Lakers won a bunch of chips, August 8th. Sounds pretty good, actually. All right, oh, while, while you're thinking about trading, let's open up this fresh case. Let's do that. Let's pull the camera back a little bit. I need like a steady cam or something like that. Make myself some room here, let's pop this. Okay, fresh master case open. We'll select the inner, and we'll be doing half of the inner case that we pull. So that's a very nice price point. The other half is already in the store right now if you want to check that out. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six for uh, the inner case. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what we'll be doing this time. This will reserve for the next time. So this is break, so we're doing nine. So this is break nine and 10. This will be break 11 and 12 actually. So we can actually mark that. So break 11 and 12, random team 11 and 12 will come from this inner case. And this is what we're gonna to do today. All right. Oh, Rick's got a good show line. Is that all one show? Rick's going to a show where it's Psychedelic Furs, MGMT, Flaming Lips, Echo and the Bunnymen, all in one show. What is that like a, some sort of festival? Um, that's pretty good. 
right, now let's open this and see which four boxes we're gonna do. See folks, sports, music, pop culture, film, maybe even some literature. You get all that here at Jaspi's Hobbyland. I've seen Flaming Lips a number of times. They're, they they put on a good show. All right, now, one, two, three, four, five, six for the four boxes. One, left side, so this will be reserved for RT10, which is already in the store. So let's mark these RT10. See all the RT10s right there. Anyone else actually trading? I don't see any trades. Uh, and Rex, you're looking for you're looking for the guy in the box right here, by the way. All right. I don't think there's any trades. So I think we'll, I don't see any trades in the chat, right? Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. So we'll close out that trade window. Trade window closed. All right, obviously the next four boxes are in the store already, jaspyshobbyland.com. We also have the cup hockey. Old cup hockey, 16, 17 cup hockey on the website right now. So hockey fans, fulfill your hockey needs with us, Jaspies Hobbyland. And you can hear me try my damnedest to uh, pronounce some of these crazy names. This is where you can chase the, uh, learn about the bounty, bounty stuff. All right, good luck everybody. Well, let's hear it. Every, every, I want everybody with their opinions on the record while this video is going right here. We've got the Golden Knights, the Las Vegas Golden Knights, and the Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup Finals. Who wins how many games? Now, I don't, I like hockey. I don't follow it as closely as I do other sports, so I don't really, I don't really have too many opinions. Strong opinions, I guess, but I want to know what the what the more knowledgeable hockey fan has to say. Uh, most of you in this break are, are probably a lot more knowledgeable about hockey than I am. Other sports, I'll hold my own very well. But what are your opinions? Josh Pruce says Capitals in six. Jay says Golden Knights in six. Eric Jennings says Capitals in six. Paul Coolhuit says Golden Knights in seven. Who has home ice advantage? I don't know who has the uh, better record. Uh, Rich says Ovechkin will be partying a lot in Vegas. Vegas in five. John Oakray says Vegas has the home ice advantage. Man, you would think that the teams would have all their players like, like <laughs> locked away, right, when they're in Vegas. Charles says Caps in seven with an overtime win in game seven. That'd be crazy. Yeah, there's a couple great, uh, there's a couple great um, storylines here. Eric Jennings pointing out the, uh, you know, Alex Ovechkin, great scorer. Doesn't have, doesn't have a, doesn't have a ring yet, right? But then there's there's Golden Knights, you know, who has um, Golden Knights. It's a great story too. Underdogs, expansion team. There's Spectrum FX Corey Perry. So that makes that pretty exciting too. So we, we'll sleeve all these up. We'll top load all these before they before they go out. Boombox saying the Mighty Ducks will win it. 
in seven after losing the first three games. Possibly using their their infamous their famous flying V strategy. I'm not sure why they opted to to brand themselves as Vegas Golden Knights instead of the Las Vegas Golden Knights, John. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's some crazy marketing data that they mined where they're like, oh, people like this better? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Our first autograph is Alexander Carrier, 453 out of 999. I think that's how you say it. Or Carrier. I can't imagine it's Carrier, though. Future Watch Auto for the Predators. That'll go to Nashville. Did I print out this line? I didn't even print out this list. Rex with the Nashville Predators. Gotta print out this list. So I don't have to keep looking at my computer screen. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they'll call it Vegas Raiders as well. It's a possibility. Here's a cyborg, Yarmir Yager. I am convinced that he is a cyborg. Along with any anyone who is <laughs> who is a little longer in the tooth. There's level two. Future watch. And our second autograph is Owen Tippett for the Panthers. 297 out of 999. Florida Panthers auto going out to Ryan Redmond. Ah, there. There's the official list printed out right here, folks. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Vince Carter, also a cyborg. There's Connor McDavid. Young Guns, Jeff Glass. The Vegas Golden Knights has been quite a story. There's our logo right there. There's been quite a story uh, in Vegas, especially because of uh, how much money the sports books stand to lose. Uh, not that anyone cares about how much the sports books stand to lose in Vegas, but it's crazy because no one thought this was going to happen. So they've got a huge liability on the Vegas Golden Knights because everybody in Vegas who is excited about it, you know would um would like bet that they would win you know the western conference their division the western conference the stanley cup and they were huge underdogs you know but people with their first professional sports team a lot of locals in vegas were excited placed a lot of money on there and then there you go so it's crazy how much money that that vegas has already lost because of the the success of the golden knights So Jay's saying he's in southern Utah and everyone's going nuts because, yeah, everyone within 500 miles of that. Yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a crazy story. People people locals in Vegas, uh, locals in Vegas are saying that hey they're they're talking to neighbors that they haven't talked to before in like the suburbs of Las Vegas because you know they've got Golden Knights here like flags flying in their front doors and stuff like that. Uh, it is actually I think people forget how much of a suburban area Las Vegas has become it's not just a strip anymore you know so there's tons and tons of families that live there you know like Bryce Harper Chris Bryant Joey Gallo all grew up in Vegas suburbs you know what I mean playing Little League and everything so so I think it, they were overdue for a professional sports team and I think I think they're they're really taking to that team and it was uh especially after 
after that terrible shooting outside of Mandalay Bay, uh, that was just near the beginning of the hockey season, if I recall correctly. And I think they, I think the Vegas Golden Knights, as a professional hockey team, really kind of brought a lot of sports fans together as well. That was a big deal. They rattled off a ton of home wins early in the season. So it was, uh, I mean, all, all that, it was just perfect storm. Everyone's saying that the draft or the expansion draft really helped them out because they weren't able to... To, to protect as many players and blah 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 there's all sorts of other rules so so they got a good draft you know they got a good organization got a good home crowd all the other intangibles the Vegas flu a lot of teams flying into Vegas for the regular season you got got guys like Mark Andre Fleury playing out of his mind in the playoffs you know I mean and people here in LA know the power of a of a hot of a hot goaltender. So, I think all that combined together, and now you got a great story in the Las Vegas Golden Knights. The, is they are they the first? They've got to be the only expansion team. Now, someone correct me if I'm wrong on 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 the trivia, but they must be the first expansion team ever in in professional sports to get to. The, fi the championship game, right? I don't think that's happened in any other sport. I don't think any... There, I'm now, there may be a, a team in their second year that might have gone there, but in their first year, has there been a team, an expansion team, that has gone to the finals of their respective like sport? I want to say my trivia tells me, Alan Murdoch, that the Blues, I think, were close. But I think it was like their second year or something like that, wasn't it? In like the late 60s or, or uh, when, when the Blues joined the... Now, th I think they got it early on, but... Oh, in MLS, Chicago Fire. Were they were they an expansion team in 98? Maybe they were. I don't maybe there's sign of the times. Andrew Shaw of the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal. That goes to Charles Scrabble with that one. Sign of the Times for the New York Islanders. Denny Spotvin with that one. Pot Vin for the Islanders. Chris Rodriguez with that one. And Christian Juice. 412 out of 499. For the Capitals. We'll see. Will, will we see? I think we will see him. He's been playing. I've heard his name on the TV when I've been kind of half listening to these hockey games. All right, he'll get some minutes, some ice time. Stanley Cup final starts on Monday, I believe. I like these, Ovechkin. These old school looks right here. We'll see. We'll definitely see him. Patrick Lyonet, Spectrum FX. Two in the books. Um, yeah, I think there's supposed to be two autographs per box. On average.
right, halfway through this four box break. Now, my interest, it's like, Joe, aren't you know, you're an LA guy, aren't you a Kings guy? I am, I am. My interest in the, the Vegas Golden Knights, though, uh, is, is that uh, my interest in the Golden Knights is because my Raiders are going there. So if, if the Golden Knights have, have some sort of significant home ice advantage, I wonder if the Raiders would also experience some sort of home field advantage. You know, 50 plus players is a lot of players to keep track of when you go to Vegas, when you fly into Vegas, right? You know, that's, that's a, lot of, uh, a lot of players to keep track of. Maybe, you know, maybe one drink turns into three. Maybe the... Hey, we're gonna leave the club at midnight. That turns into 3 a.m. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe a, maybe hey, a couple hands of blackjack turns into many hands of blackjack. Young professional athletes with a lot of money spent. You know. Oh, okay. So Moody is confirming that that. That the 67, 68 St. Louis Blues are the only other team to get to the finals of a, a major professional sport. Right there. So we'll see. <laughs> Can I say no play for the Raiders? Oh man, I, I don't know. Playoff for the Raiders. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the preseason goes. I think this will be probably a transitional year for the Raiders to get, kind of get used to Gruden, but I think they'll be they'll be ready to go by the time they get into Vegas in a, two or three years. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, and that's the thing that the Raiders organization will have to think of, Moody, when they start dra when they start drafting players now and in the future, or when they look for free agents. How much trouble can they get in Vegas? Although I think once if you live there, my sister lives in Vegas, and if you live there and you kind of get used to it and kind of if you're treating it like home, and you live in the suburbs, like it doesn't really feel like Vegas at all. So I think if you live there, I think you'll kind of get used to it. Phil Housley for the Sabres. There you go. Uh, Rex, save that question for, I like that question. Save that question for a, a baseball break, my friend. All right, uh, Buffalo Sabres, that goes to Cruz, by the way. Uh, John Brodzinski for the Kings. Johnny, that is, 585 out of 999. You could use a little more of the canvas, Johnny. Uh, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with the Kings. How many... Ch um, how many church-going cars are out there? I know, we probably need to... I mean, I guess we can get David Carr back. back. I know. Pretty much need a draft of te a team of Derek Carr's, basically. <laughs> well, my Raiders are going to find out soon enough. Nice Young Guns card. We're going to find out soon enough. That'll be the big test. I, th I think. I think getting a hockey team in, in Las Vegas was like the first sort of small step. For professional sports in Las Vegas, and now we'll see. Well, now we'll see how the NFL does. I feel like baseball would have been a little bit safer, but <laughs> sign of the times for the Kings. Look at that, Charlie Simer, and that old purple and gold Kings uniform.
Nice. Los Angeles Kings, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. JKJ. There's Panarin, Spectrum FX. Goes to the uh, Blue Jackets, Columbus. That's for Rex, I think. Rex, there you go. Uh, Matt Hanel, no, I'm not upset at all about the Raiders moving because they, they left me in L.A. already. So back in the day when I was a kid. And so uh, that I'm used to that heartache already. So they went to Oakland, and I was fine because they were still in California. Um, oh, sim Simmer, apparently. Um, so I'm already, I'm already used to it, Matt. In fact, for them going to Vegas, they'd actually be, uh, they'd actually be like an hour or so closer to me than they would be in Oakland, but they're in a different state. So it works out. I would have loved to have them come back. Uh, I would have loved to have them come back in LA. I think they should have. I think it should have been Rams and Raiders back in Los Angeles. Uh, I think that was a mistake to not do that. Although I think ownership may have. I think ownership may have uh, had a. Cronky may not have wanted that to happen. But I think Vegas is a good set. I mean, like I said, Las Vegas Golden Knights was the big first step. Professional sports in there. What's this? This thing is already penny sleeved, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? So anyway, Vegas Bowl nice big first step there. So we'll see. Now that's true, Moody. I hear you. They can't stay in the verbs forever. I think then that'll be a very big test of the organization, I think. It's hard to keep track of like fifty-two some odd uh 52 some odd players. Oh, it's a multi sign card, says Rich. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jason. I appreciate the update on on LBJ. All right, folks. Well, playoff hockey is always fun. I always try to follow hockey during the playoffs. I try during the regular season, but so many other things going on. Um, but Stanley Cup Finals, I think, we'll, we'll definitely be watching that together here at Jazby's Hobby then while we break some hockey. And... Um, definitely discussing as much as possible maybe we'll even you know i'll be bold enough to make some picks maybe put some put a couple penny a penny or two on a game if i'm feeling confident about about my knowledge all right oh eric jennings saying maybe a buyback so possibly a multi-sign card or a buyback he says those are usually the ones that are sleeved all right there's steven stomkos for the lightning they almost were there they didn't quite get it done. Jaden Schwartz. So I don't know. We'll see. Set that there. Got a Young Guns. More Young Guns. Gretzky Milestones, Oilers Edition. There's Yager, the Cyborg. And we got a level one Spectrum FX. Andreas Borgman for the Maple Leafs. Derek with the Toronto Maple Leafs. There's a what 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 is this, what's the significance of that date? Debut maybe. Remy Ellie, ten out of nine ninety nine future watch autograph for the Dallas Stars. That'll be for Derek.
Andrew Mangiapane. Oh, that was his debut right there? Oh, okay. I don't know. I probably butchered that last name. 892 out of 999. Calgary Flames. That'll go to Chris Rodriguez. Yoga Flame. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. So Rich is saying that the first 50 cards have the uh, have their debut date inscription on there. That's that's a good idea. They should have, they should have more more things like that. And we've got Roberto Luongo Spectrum FX at the end. And now let's see what that last pack has in store for us. Clear all this away. Good luck, everybody. Ryan Johansson, Bo Hovard, and Nylander. All right. It's going to be, wow, a multi auto. Look at that. And they're all New York Rangers. Is there a number? I don't see a number on here. I see the uh, there's the authentication sticker and all that. Nice. Chris Kreider, Kevin Shattenkirk, and Heinrich Lundquist. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Oh wait, is there another? Aha, so there's that authentication card is right behind there. Wow, six autographs, right Rich? And there's, there's Mats Zuccarello, Rick Nash, and Mika Ziban Zibanyad. Four out of six. Wow. Sign of the times, I, I didn't notice that six up there. Sign of times six. Rangers. Rex with the Rangers. There you go, Rex. Very nice. We'll, we'll save this for you in a different thing here. I don't have any posts. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. What a break. We got the second half right here in the store. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll hockey with you next time. Bye-bye.